so salty. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's got a little too much salt. Maybe it's the onions. I haven't really made up my mind. Well, you know what? Why did you do it yourself next time? Tell me you did not just spill that salt. Tell me you did not just drop that salt shaker and spill that salt. Yeah, what if I did? You don't know? It's a Ukrainian proverb. It's a bad omen to spill the salt. If you spill the salt, you'll have an argument. Do you want to have an argument? As a matter of fact, I don't! I don't think that spilling the salt will cause an argument. If one spills salt, one will have an argument. No, they won't! Yes, they will! This is ridiculous! She's right, you know! We're having an argument right now! We are not having an argument right now! <laughs> this is great. I love it. I love the plot, I love the irony, I even love the acting. My first improv show of the semester tonight. If it goes well, I'll be a happy man. Remember your lines, everyone. You're doing great. Thanks, <laughs> Come on, Dante. I just got word that Dippin' Dots is going to be a suggestion tonight. Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots. Shit, we need Emily. Where's Emily? Emily! Emily, where are you? Don't even tell me. I know everything. Dippin' Dots, let's get to work, people. Mitch, Simon, let's script this improv. What? Mitch, I, I know you're a first year, and this is your first show with Fresh Concepts, but that's just the way we do things around here. Do you think the audience thinks our show isn't scripted? <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Mitch. You'll be Samuel. You'll be eating Dippin' Dots in a mall. Yes. Simon, you'll be Janine. Samuel will come up to you. You'll say dirty things to each other. And then you're going to realize you're in love. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to talk about personal issues. <laughs> then you're going to argue fervently and ridiculously, but with conviction. <laughs> and it's it. Is that it? No, of course not. Uh, halfway through the scene, Samuel, you'll call Janine Stephanie to spice things up a bit. The audience just loves when we mess up names. Right, Steph. It's gonna go great. They're gonna love it. But what if the audience throws us a curveball? As a last resort, we can ask our most loyal fan base, Vern, Justin, and Max, to shout out Joker Family as a suggestion. Simon here has been working on quite a realistically scripted improv scene about the Joker Family. They will know nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but what if the student government people come? We can't afford any budget to Sarcastic hipsters, what do they come? We have Walker Bell. <laughs> and the improv inspectors. Do you think I carry this around with me for no reason? If the improv inspectors come to watch, we pull out jokes from my 2009 handbook of regulation comedy jokes. That way we'll show them that we're up to the Comedy Council standards. Like this. Alcohol, beer, possible puns, beer as folk, beer tutors, beer pressure. Or social place, hipster, possible utilizations, hipster squadron. They may not care enough to fight, but they definitely look cool standing. Or intercourse, fetish, possible remarks, please insert a tennis in the what if they sense a sense of script? If they really expect us to improv our improv, well... Shit. <laughs> Line 